I've lived here 20 years. Nate Mantlo lives on unincorporated land in the blue portion of the map. The part that the town proposed to annex. The town of Brownsburg is highlighted in yellow. I mean, they were going to try to increase the size of the town by over 50%. Sabrina Graham and Nate Mantlo are part of the group fight against Brownsburg annexation. We would pay uh, extra taxes, extra fees. I would pay fees for the water to roll off my barn roof. The opposition group landed a major legal victory today in the state's highest court. The woman in pink celebrating with a beer is one of the group's attorneys. There was already uh, a part of the statute which says if the town were to lose today, then the town would not be able to annex the same property again for four years. Marlene Brees laid out the two key points that she says led every Supreme Court justice to rule in favor of the opposition group and against the town. By far, the 4,500 acres is agricultural. The court ruled the land was not subdivided or urban enough and it was wanted by the town rather than needed. Marlene says it failed to meet the following requirement. Needed and can be used in the reasonably near future by the town. Town officials had proposed using that land to extend portions of Ronald Reagan Parkway. The county had already planned to extend the Ronald Reagan Parkway. County residents we talked to say they're not shocked by the ruling, but they are relieved and protected from incorporation until 2023. We're very excited about it. I've been getting text messages all day from people. Town officials all declined to talk to me on camera. The Brownsburg town manager says they are aware of the ruling and they are reviewing it. Now, attorneys say that decision cannot be appealed any higher. They added today's ruling could have broader implications when it comes to clarifying that distinction between agricultural and urban land. Reporting live.